So who do you see uh, that round going to? Right now, I'm giving this 3-0 to Tom. I've got to agree, and uh, I think that puts Danny in a very tough position because he's left with just those two rounds. He either needs to uh, get a submission win or a very, very dominating round. It, it's very rare you see 10-8 rounds in, uh, in MMA. I mean, it's not like boxing where you see more domination standing and uh, uh, you'll see the 10-8 round. In this, I think Ta Danny needs a finish now. If Danny doesn't finish his opponent, he's going home without a belt. I agree. I think what you need to get a 10-8 round is, is good striking, wrestling and groundwork. And I don't think Danny's got that complete package in order to get such a gap in one round. So, you know, the best he's going to do is win the next two rounds 10-9. And that loses him the title. And he's still looking fresh as always. Uh, still looks like he could go another five rounds, not just another two. You can't doubt his cardio. Tom looking ready to go. Uh, Let's see how, uh, how he does in the championship rounds. Yeah, so Mark Goddard started the action again. Hopefully Danny can uh, make his gameplay uh, plan work. He needs to get Tom onto his, uh, onto his back. He needs to get him on the ground. Again, it, it, it's much the same uh, fight that we've seen in the last two rounds. Maybe Dan's been uh, a little bit more aggressive, but uh, I don't think he'll win the striking game. He's in a little more uh, leg kick defence there from Tom, but not necessarily the best. I think when you catch uh, five or six kicks uh, around on, on your thighs, it, it develops your uh, defence. <laughs> Eventually you're going to start chin checking. You've got to learn the lesson at some point. He's still stalking down, he's still taking his time, waiting. He's very, very focused, his guard stayed up, he clearly wants to strike and he's winning the striking game. I can see him coming away with the title unless Danny starts to uh, to get this fight into his uh, his skill set. Okay, uh, a little fact that I was going to keep to myself. I spoke to Tom earlier this morning, and uh, I asked him how his cardio was because I, I known Danny, I knew it was important for him to have good cardio for these five they, uh, already that it's five minute rounds plus Danny's legendary cardio. Yeah. I knew Tom would have to have good cardio. He said that he was a little worried about it, so maybe that's why we've seen him being uh, inactive up till now. That's why he's not a. Uh, gone out there didn't want to get too tired maybe so but I, I think he's looking pretty fresh and pretty strong I mean this is the fourth round now uh, that's a long time to be fighting and, and he's still landing good strikes already and uh, he's still doing that but if that is the case and I I'm almost hoping it is hopefully what it means is that in the fifth round he's going to come out here aggressive and he's going to try and finish him yeah he's when still getting caught with those low kicks though and they're going to start really racking up the damage as they get into the uh, into the later rounds now. Because you saw that that bad reaction to it, he dropped his hand completely. If he does that again, then Danny's got to be looking to throw that overhand right after the low kick. Yeah, I, I, that's what you would expect a striker to do. Whether Danny's uh, sort of learns his, uh, his striking to that level, so he's looking for how people defend and uh, capitalising on uh, poor defence. That really is well up nicely on that, uh, that, that left leg. Yeah, that's going to slow his strikes down as well. Uh, I, I, if you've got a good striker, somebody who's good with his hands, taking the legs away can really help you uh, change the, the flow of the fight. Absolutely. Again, it's like we've mentioned it a few times tonight. It's taking the legs out from under and needing to have a good solid base in order to throw them strikes. Definitely. Definitely. At, at present, to be honest, this, this fight, I think, hasn't been action-packed enough for a title fight. Neither fighter seems to really want it at the moment. Tom looks like he... He's doing, he's doing just enough so far. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I don't like to see that from somebody who's coming out here to try and take someone's belt away. You want to see him go out there and take it from him. Come out there and say, all right, that's my belt you're carrying. That's what you've got to do. Uh, and I think at the moment he's letting Danny uh, land some uh, some good strikes. He's down to the ground, and this is where Danny should, uh, should be able to turn the uh, flow of the fight now, really should. He's almost forced this situation, Danny, by, by destroying Tom's legs like that. I think yeah. Tom couldn't couldn't keep standing up with him anymore, so guard. he had to take it down. And Danny will start working his legs up. Yep. Let's see if uh, if Tom can posture up and throw some of them strikes we saw earlier. Oh, and then this is the Danny Batten I expected to see. Look how high that guard is. That's, where he, that's the way he was against Mohamed El Oji. That's the way he was against Emmanuel Fernandez. Yeah. He's and looking for uh, a rubber guard there. Uh, 
He's got good control. He's always controlling the head as well when he's underneath, which is really important when you go for submissions. Absolutely. There's no point going for a submission and leaving your opponent's face to run away. Exactly. That welt on uh, Tom's legs really come up now. It really is looking there. Yeah, he's going to have some trouble sitting there. Then, right now. Yeah. So he'll be walking with a limp later on. Danny's working quite solidly on the ground, but he's, he, he doesn't appear to be actually going for the submissions. And then Tom's managed to posture up. He pushes him off and back to his feet. I, I can't see why Danny wants to be back on his feet again. Uh, he doesn't I don't think it's a question of wanting to be back on his feet, but as you saw, just before he pushed him off, Tom had managed to almost pass the half guard. He had a good yeah. posture and he was ready to throw them strikes that were hurting Danny earlier on. Right. Lesser of two evils. I think you're probably right, but I mean, oh, oh, oh. a beautiful right hand. Danny's recovered nicely. He and he's, uh, he's looking for a submission on the leg there, but uh, he dropped very quickly when that right hand landed. Absolutely. We saw a little elevator action there. Uh, dropped down to the floor, but recovered nicely, came straight back, went for the takedown. And he drops down with that right hand again. On the left. And uh, some nice solid, solid strikes from Tom. Yeah, and he's looks like he's trying to pass guard here. Oh, I could just hold on there. Uh, that's the end of the round. And, and that's got to give him that round. You know, he, he, he landed some great shots. Absolutely. He rocked his opponent. And Danny's really got to be getting desperate right now. Well, I only see one way for uh, Danny to win win this and keep the title, and that is he's got to stop Tom. And uh, so far, he's shown no signs of being able to do that. Really given his performance so far tonight, I don't see that happening. I, I, I think we're going to be seeing a new champion here tonight. I've got to agree with you. In the Tom, corner there, Tom's looking... Uh, uh, a little bit more out of breath, he's, he's breathing quite deeply, certainly more than Danny in his legendary cardio. He's certainly, yeah, uh, he's making an effort to try and get his breath back, yeah. Well, I think this is a round that counts now. Absolutely, let's see if uh, if Tom can pull it out for this five minutes. If, if, if my earlier theory was right and Tom's going to come out here aggressive and try and finish this off, or if Danny, no, no one that he's got better cardio, knowing that he's fresher than his man, if he's going to come out here aggressive and finish him off. I think Danny has to. If he wants to walk out of here champion, then Danny has to finish off his opponent right now. Got to. He's maybe the five most important minutes of his life. I think one of the biggest mistakes that Tom can do now, though, is, is, is take the pressure off it and think, right, I'm, I'm basically won and I'm going to hold off and just defend for this. Many fighters have lost the fight uh, due to that mentality, so he needs to keep the pressure on. It's always a dangerous move, that. Uh, you have to keep the pressure on. That's that's how he's been winning. That's how he's not got submitted. You can't just defend. Yeah, exactly the, the, right. The, the slightest problem, the slightest mistake in defence, and you're going to find yourself finished. Yeah, he, he needs to keep the pressure on, plus he gets the glory. I, I think that he's won all of the four rounds beforehand. Certainly. If he can win this, it, it's a whitewash on the uh, scorecard, which is a nice way to win the title and would be very disappointed for Danny, I think. He's very, very worried about those leg kicks. Huh? Yeah, I'm sure that's beginning to slow him down as well now. He's, he's lifting his leg, he's, he's preparing for them, he's expecting... That's a nice little high kick on the same. Yeah, good switch up from the mid kick, actually. Uh, I think he's probably done some tie, because you can see with the hip movement when he throws that kick. He, he certainly has a good stand-up pedigree. Apart from, obviously, his uh, defensive low checking. kicks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't appear to use any defence. I mean, even if he's not shin checking, he's not crashing the line, he's uh, he's not moving. He's literally taking the kick on his thigh, which uh, is is suicide in a long fight. Beautiful Again, high kick, just with that head kick. He really has. He's got some good legs. I mean, those high kicks, they're, they're coming out. They're fast. They're precise. They're accurate. You see him switching hips. I think one of the mistakes is to not set him up with strikes, though. Uh, if you're going to try and land that land that kick throw the punches to set it up, throw the low kicks, etc., so that you get a good clean shot with some power behind it. Yeah, exactly. The difference could have been instead of just landing a head kick, you could have landed a knockout head kick. Exactly. Uh, at the moment, I think this fight, is, this round is a little bit more even. They're both uh, in exchanges. Uh, and, and Tom isn't controlling the ring as much as he did do before. Uh, I think he's just been too worried about uh, more punishment to that leg. He, he certainly can't be happy about the state of that leg right now. He's got to be worrying about it the whole time. He's got to be thinking. Which means that he's not thinking about that sort of thing. He's not thinking about Danny coming in with punches. Yeah. It, 
interesting if we go if we go back to what we've said already. Danny's cardio is unbelievable. He looks like it's the first round. He's not breathing heavy at all. It, it really is uh, a thing to behold. It's unbelievable. Uh, I mean, he, he looks fresh, and it surprises me that he isn't putting the pressure on in this fight now. I mean, he's clearly got the lungs. He needs to. He needs to really go for it and get this fight finished to keep his title. He certainly. Mu he must have noticed that Tom is breathing heavily. So. I don't understand he wouldn't be putting the pressure on, trying to finish this off, trying to hold on to his belt. He should be desperately clinging to his belt right now. It, you know, if he doesn't turn it on now, if he doesn't stop Tom, he's lost his belt. And that, uh, there's nothing more disappointing than winning the title and losing it on your first defence. Especially due, due to, not, not because you got beaten, but because you let yourself get beaten. Yeah. Because you weren't active enough, because you didn't try hard enough. Yeah. I also see as well that, you know, Tom's taking quite a few strikes there, but that's actually building his confidence because I don't think he thinks Danny can actually do him too much damage to him. Well, I think maybe he's dead. Well, I think he's trying to defend now. For a moment, I thought he was going to switch to southpaw just to... Uh... It could be a wise decision. Uh, they sometimes teach that in Thai that, uh, you know, if you, if you really do get damage on that weapon, at least switch to take it away from uh, being a target. And he's looking desperate now. He's throwing, he's throwing silly kicks. He's throwing silly punches. He's just trying to do anything to try and finish it. I, I'll be honest. I think it's too little, too late. Certainly. Um, I mean, it, it's good. I, I'm glad that he's doing it. I'm glad that he is actually trying to hold on to his title. But I'm afraid he just does not have the tools to finish Tom off. So we're in the last minute now, uh, and I would say that Danny probably needs a miracle to keep hold of his belt, and uh, he's got to start by by being aggressive. Absolutely, he has to keep attacking. Even if if, if, if he's taking a risk, if he risks getting finished, finished himself, it doesn't matter. He just has to do something in order to win this fight. Tom gets the takedown. And he's trying to pass guard here, and with so little time on the clock, I would probably just be aggressive with some, some strikes, you know, and just seal this round and, and get this round. Well, I, I think Tom, he, he likes to fight, he likes to finish, he, he, he just wants to put his game in action. Plus, if he's, if he's trying to pass guard, if he's putting the pressure on Danny, then Danny's not attacking him with submissions. Yeah. Well, Thomas has got a, a bit of a guillotine there. I don't think it's anything to finish, but it's certainly controlling uh, Danny. Yeah, he, he would, he, he'd want to be really dependent on power if he's going to finish Danny up with his, Danny off with that sort of move. That Danny's flexible. And there we go. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say we've got a new champion. It's not a very long limb, that, to be honest. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if Danny keeps the title here. Uh, shocked, even. I think Tom did enough in every round to win every round. Whitewash. There may, uh, there may be the slight question over that last round because Danny was more aggressive. Yeah, but uh, Tom got the takedown as well at the end. You get, you... I'm, I'm really surprised to see Danny walking around with his hands in the air. Hey, if nothing else, that shows confidence. Maybe it's just the last ditch attempt to influence the judges. I think you should do that. Even if you know you've lost it, throw your hands in the air. You never know, one of the judges might be a little bit uh, a little bit willing to uh, to change the scores. Have you ever heard of that sort of thing happening in an event here in the UK? I don't think so. But, uh, it's the kind of thing that you see in boxing. Judges can be swayed quite easily. It, it's not it's not an easy position to be in as judge uh, plus it, it, it's got to be hard for a judge to take somebody's belt away from them yeah I, 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 unless it's a clear a clear win which this is a points win so you know they've, they've got to be careful but I think we're going to see Tom win here and Tom being the new type, title holder I, I'd be very surprised if it goes, if it goes the other way Champion, 
I'm disgusted. Well, I said I'd be shocked, and I am genuinely shocked. I, I didn't see how Danny did anywhere near enough to actually keep his title there. I didn't uh, see Danny win a single round. No, no, I, I mean, the best he could have done is perhaps drawn one of the rounds at the end, uh, but I think Tom did more than enough to win the title. It is very disappointing that he hasn't got the ability to, uh, to take that belt home. This smells horribly of a hometown decision. Well, you've gone out on a limb and said it, but, uh, I mean, it, it is an odd decision. I, I've judged fights before, I've ref fights before, and I, I wouldn't have put it that way. So it is, ladies and gentlemen, into that 